Welcome to Samsung's The Ultimate Test. I'm Jake Roper, your Team Galaxy host this season. Watch as we test the features on Samsung's Note 10 Plus in all sorts of creative ways in crazy environments. Hi, I'm Jake, and you might be wondering why I brought you out into the middle of nowhere in the desert. Well, it's because of Star Wars, specifically the new film Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Because it got me thinking, if Star Wars takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, could we see that galaxy, could we see Star Wars using our Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and a telescope? Ugh, that was a weird sound. Also, it needs to be completely dark. Now, the reason that we chose this location so isolated from civilization is because there's very little light pollution. That is, there's not many buildings or things giving off unnatural light. So we can see stars and celestial bodies much more clearly. Maybe even a galaxy? Here, take a look through this eyepiece and tell me what you see. The moon looks amazing, right? What the telescope is doing is collecting light through its lens and it's able to gather a large amount of light because of its size, which then uses our eye to resolve the image. But we don't need to use our eye because there's something in our pocket that can not only see it, but can also save what it sees, our Note 10 Plus. And in the spirit of Star Wars, we can even use this as our informational droid. <clears throat> Hi, Bigsby. What is the diameter of the moon? 2,158.8 miles. Thanks, Bigsby. Now let's attach our phone to the telescope and see well, what we can see. So now we have our Note 10 attached to the telescope, basically augmenting one of the three lenses that the phone has, the ultra wide, the wide angle, and the telephoto. And we are going to use the wide for this because it has an adaptive aperture. And since it has an adaptive aperture, a physical aperture, it means that in pro mode, we can control how much light goes from the telescope into the camera's sensor. So the photo won't be overexposed or underexposed. It'll be just right, like this. And by changing that, we were able to capture this. So as I mentioned before, a telescope really any lens is meant to capture light so we can see an image. The less light an object has, the harder it is to resolve, the harder it is to see. So if we wanted to see a celestial body far off into the distance, well, we'd have to capture light over an extended period of time. And to do that, we can actually use the long shutter mode in pro mode, which captures more of that light onto the camera's sensor. And to help with that, let's use the force. By force, I mean S Pen Air Commands, which is the closest we have to the force here on Earth. When doing a long exposure with the shutter, it's important that once your camera is set and in position, that you don't touch it because any movement could blur your final image. So that's when the most relevant S Pen Air Command comes in for this situation, hitting the S Pen button to take the photo. Now I promised you a galaxy, so we are going to capture a galaxy using a galaxy. Specifically, we are going to see Andromeda, which is 2.5 million light years away. Now we captured one galaxy, but what about a galaxy far, far away, like Star Wars? Well, the issue is light. Now light travels incredibly quickly, but it takes a long time to get here, especially if that light source is millions of light years away, like for example, Andromeda, which is 2.5 million light years away, so it takes 2.5 million years for that light to get to us. When we look at it, we're actually seeing it in the past. Now, if we wanted to see an even further away distant galaxy, well, we'd need a much larger telescope. But using our Galaxy Note 10 Plus in this telescope, well, we can see our night sky wonderfully. But to resolve a planet, 
that is far, 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 far away, we would need a telescope the size of our solar system. But the good news is that you can actually see Star Wars right now. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is in theaters as I speak. I would highly recommend seeing it, but I'm gonna go back to exploring our galaxy and I hope that you come back to help me explore this galaxy. And as always, thanks for watching. What other space photos would you like to see captured? Leave a comment below.